Hey y'all, and welcome to Smoky Beginnings. Today we're going to be making a grilled skirt steak with chimichurri sauce. We're going to start by making our chimichurri sauce first. And for those that don't know, chimichurri is a super popular condiment from South America. We're going to get started here in just a few moments. We're going to start first with our dry ingredients, which are going to be salt and pepper. Our wet ingredients are red wine vinegar and olive oil. And you can use pretty much any olive oil out there or canola, avocado, vegetable, any oil here will work just fine. We'll put all our ingredients into our mixing bowl and set that off to the side. Now moving on to the star of our show, which is parsley. I prefer to use two bunches of parsley when I'm making chimichurri. You're going to rinse it off and dry off any excess moisture. We will then remove the stems and use just the leaves. The reason that we're using just the leaves is because the stems have a bitter flavor to them. And what I was trying to do here is I, I saw this uh, this hack where you put the parsley through a hole on a cheese grater and pull and the end result should be just the leaves. While I'm chopping up this parsley, I did want to talk about how versatile chimichurri is. You can put it on pork, you can put it on steak, you can use it as a dip, you can use it as a salad dressing, you can put it on a whole bunch of different things and it tastes delicious every single time. Some additional ones is you can put it on hot dogs, you can put it on hamburgers. It, the possibilities are just endless. All right, now that we cut up the parsley, we add it to the mixing bowl and we move on to our onion. We're going to chop about half a large onion. A tip here to avoid having your eyes water is to not cut through the core of the onion, cut around the core, leaving the core intact. So you're gonna slice, dice, finally chop this onion until we get very small pieces. Once we have our onion chopped, we'll now move on to our garlic. We're gonna use two cloves of garlic here. I'll take a clove and smash it into our cutting board. Uh, doing so allows me to remove the skin easier. Just go ahead and mince the garlic into very fine pieces. Everything within this recipe is gonna be very fine pieces. Then once you're done with that, put everything into your mixing bowl. And if you're digging this recipe, uh, you can find it at smokybeginnings.com. Now that we have all our ingredients chopped up, we add them to the mixing bowl and then you're just gonna stir these ingredients all together until everything blends very nicely. Now, if you want a chunky sauce, you can leave the sauce as is. However, if you want a smooth texture, smooth consistency, all you gotta do is just add this mixture into a blender and blend it for about two minutes. The sauce will end up looking something like this. And what you're gonna do is put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for about an hour. Onto our steaks. I'm just gonna trim any excess fat or any hard fat that I see here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and square up the steak just to make them cook evenly. Any like little bits or extraneous parts of the steak are gonna be the first part that burns. And then once it's time to season the steaks, we will use the olive oil binder. Then we were going to sprinkle the steaks with sea salt and pepper and make sure to season both sides of the steaks before putting them on the grill. These steaks are seasoned, it's time to get them on the grill. Before we go ahead and do that, it's time to make our favorite beverage. I heard that having a beverage in your hand increases your grilling ability. Let's test that theory out. Start our fire off by starting up our charcoal chimney. And I feel like I can watch this pretty much all day long. Look at all the pretty colors, the amber, the black, the grays, the smoke, everything just looks so cool. Once the coals have ashed out over, we use our heat resistant glove to pour our charcoal chimney on top of the pile of the charcoal, creating a two zone fire. If there are any coals that are trying to run away, use your long handle tongs to put the coals back in with their friends. Now we have lit coals on top of unlit coals, so I'm letting those unlit coals ignite and I'm giving the grill enough time to come up the temp. I'm going to put on the grate and then I'm going to close the lid, probably give it about an hour, 10 to 15 minutes while everything comes up to temp. I went ahead and put the steaks on the grill. I've only had them on for about three minutes on one of the side. Then I flip them over and I put them on for about another three minutes. We're starting to get a nice sear on one of the steaks and one of them is definitely cooking faster than the other. That's why I moved it over to the indirect side and it'll stay there until uh, we get up to temp. I'm shooting for a minimum temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is rare, 135 for medium rare or 145 for medium. These steaks need just a moment longer as I want to get some more char on them. After I hit my desired temperature, I pull the steaks off and I shut down the grill by closing the top and bottom damper. 
If you like content like this, go ahead and check out our other videos as we're continuously adding videos to the channel. Also check out SmokyBeginnings.com. After the steaks have rested for 10 minutes, I want to show you how not to cut a steak, followed by how to cut a steak the correct way. First, we're cutting with the grain. And as you can see, my knife is having a difficult time. I'm smooshing the steak and I'm unable to fully cut through the connective tissue on the first swipe. The juices are pouring out as I'm cutting it. Now, the correct way of cutting a steak is to be cutting against the grain. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the steak into different sections and then I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees and start cutting them. The knife moves through the steak with a lot less effort. Even if the knife is dull, the result is a juicier and easier bite of steak compared to the steak that was cut with the grain. All you gotta do is slap on some chimichurri and enjoy. And there you have it, grilled steak with chimichurri sauce. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Hope you liked the video.